jungle. Islamic ethics and economics are inseparable aspect of a holistic worldview guided by principles derived from Islamic teaching. In the realm of economics, Islamic finance uphold ethical practice emphasizing fairness, social justice, and adherence to Sharia principle. This integration of ethics and economics provides a unique perspective on economic activities, influencing various aspects of financial transaction and wealth distribution. Examining the relationship between Islamic ethics and economics within the context of contemporary issues reveals the challenges faced by Islamic financial institutions like this in Nigeria. The focus here is on the issue and challenges in adopting Islamic work at the IWS within this institution. Notably, practitioners often lack a background in Islamic finance and there is a scarcity of study on Islamic work ethic, contributing to a limited understanding and application of IWS. These challenges underscore the need for a more comprehensive approach to integrate Islamic ethics into the practice of finance. The issue at hand includes the absence of any Islamic finance background among practitioners, limited studies on Islamic work ethic, the lack of an orientation program for ethical conduct, and a weak supervisory framework. The objective is to explore these challenges in depth and propose strategies for addressing them. By delving into the intricacies of this issue, we aim to contribute to the enhancement of Islamic work ethic practice within IFIS in Nigeria, fostering a more robust and ethical financial system aligned with Islamic principles. The first issue is lack of Islamic finance background of most practitioners who often come from conventional institutions. The study emphasized how important it is for Islamic financial institutions to have a strong moral workplace culture based on Islamic principles. In order to overcome practitioners' lack of knowledge about Islamic finance, ethical training is the crucial. IFIS may provide their staff with the skills they need to maintain moral standards consistent with Islamic teachings by providing specialized training programs that highlight Islamic ethical concepts and how they apply to financial operations. Next, hiring people with the right qualifications and training in Islamic finance may be given top priority by IFIS. IFIS also may make sure that their staff is prepared to incorporate Islamic ethical standards into their work by selecting practitioners who already have a solid knowledge of Islamic financial concepts. The relation of this issue to Islamic ethics and economic is to focus on the value of Sharia compliance in Islamic finance. One of the main pillars of Islamic finance is Sharia compliance which requires that all financial transactions comply with Islamic law. This entails steering clear of interest-based deals, funding, funding socially conscious initiatives, and advocating for justice and fairness in the economy. Increasing awareness campaign is another approach to connect this to Islamic ethics and economics. Awareness campaigns can help in educating practitioners about the ethical and economic concept that form the foundation of Islamic finance as many may not be aware of them. Nonetheless, Practitioners may, may learn about Islamic finance and its the nets and contribute to the advancements of economic justice and fairness in the financial industry with proper resources and assistance. Issues affecting Islamic financial institutions in Nigeria The scarcity of studies on Islamic work ethics they face a pressing challenge with a shortage of research on Islamic work ethics leading to a lack of understanding and practice within Islamic financial institutions. This scarcity means practitioners in IFIs are often unaware of Islamic ethical standards limiting to the adoption and application of Islamic work ethics. The consequences are far-reaching, affecting the performance and ethical behavior within this institution. Without a good ethical framework based on Islamic principles, there is a greater risk of unethical behavior and financial wrongdoings in IFIs. To overcome this challenge, they need to address the lack of studies through further research that involves encouraging academic institutions and researchers to investigate the real-world implementation of IWEs and supporting research efforts centered on this crucial aspect. Why is this research 
important. Islamic work ethics emphasize justice, fairness and honesty, shaping behavior and conduct in the workplace. Understanding and advancing these ideals within Nigerian organization, especially IFIs, is important. For example, research on Islamic work ethics provides the groundwork for developing training programs which are vital to educate practitioners and employees about the importance of Islamic ethical values in the workplace. In conclusion, addressing the scarcity requires collaborative of efforts from researchers into the practical implementation of IWH to developing targeted training programs. By doing so, we can cultivate a more dedicated and moral workforce, improving the performance and reputation of Islamic financial institution. The article notes that one of the challenges Islamic financial institutions in Nigeria confront when implementing Islamic work ethics is the absence of the orientation program on the necessary Islamic ethical conduct. The orientation which focuses on the ethical behavior demand of Muslims in the course of their provisions. If this orientation training is not offered, employees could not completely comprehend the distinctive elements of Islamic ethics and how this principle should guide their behavior in the workplace. As a result, a disregard for Islamic morality may lead to unethical behavior at IFIS. Also, according to this article, a structured orientation program that teaches employees about the Islamic ethical framework and how it applies to the workplace can be developed as a way to address the lack of the orientation program for employees on the required Islamic ethical conduct in Islamic financial institution. The purpose of this guideline is to guarantee that the staff member posts to the essential knowledge of Islamic ethics and how these values should guide their actions in their official capacities. Furthermore, this study highlights the necessity of a creating a dedicated training unit for orientation purpose. This will help to solve the issue of employees at IFIS not having access to any orientation program. The structured orientation program for Islamic financial institutions promotes transparency and accountability, aligning with Islamic ethics and economy. This educate employees on financial transactions, avoid deceptions and ethical behavior. So, for the last issue, is weak supervisory frameworks hinder effective implementation of Islamic work ethics in Islamic financial institutions? So, for the consequences that will occur is unchecked unethical behavior and non-compliant with Islamic principles will lead to lack of accountability, transparency and ethical culture and increase the risk of unethical dealings and reputational damage. So, we got a solution for this issue is we need to establish a strong Islamic work ethics specific supervisory supervisory framework such as a clear guidelines, standards and enforcement mechanism, documentation of Islamic ethical policies and procedures. Secondly, foster or start a culture of ethical conduct by leadership, by example and commitment to Islamic work ethics. And also, we open a communication and reporting channel for ethical concerns. Thirdly, we need to promote and research and also have a collaboration to understanding the practicability of Islamic work ethics in Islamic financial institutions by sharing the best practices and challenges with other Islamic finance institutions. So by the implement of the solution will gain the benefits of a chance ethical conduct and compliant with Islamic principles such as increase the accountability, transparency and trust, improve institutional performance and reputation. Last but not least, Islamic financial institution must prioritize and strengthening their supervisory framework for Islamic work ethics, such the regulators and stakeholders can offer supports and guidance with collaborative efforts and crucial for effective Islamic work ethics implementation. In conclusion, the discussion highlights several interconnected issues in the context of Islamic financial institution IPs in Nigeria. Firstly, the lack of a strong Islamic financial background among practitioners posed a challenge, emphasizing the need for a comprehensive integration of Islamic work at the IWES into the organizational culture of IFIS. 
Ethical training is identified as a crucial solution to bridge the knowledge gap, emphasizing the importance of hiring individuals with a solid understanding of Islamic financial concept. Secondly, the scarcity of studies on Islamic world ethic contribute to practitioner limited awareness and understanding of IWS. Addressing this requires further research effort, promoting academic exploration of real world implementation, and developing training programs to educate IV practitioners on the significance of Islamic ethical value. Thirdly, the absence of an orientation program on Islamic ethical conducts identified as a significant challenge. Establishing a structured orientation program is deemed essential to ensuring that employees have a deep understanding of Islamic ethics, fostering a workplace culture aligned with Sharia principles. Lastly, a weak supervisory framework within IFIS is recognized as hindering the effective implementation of IWES. To overcome this challenge, there is a call for the establishment of a comprehensive supervisory framework tailored to Islamic ethical principle, emphasizing the need for clear guidelines, standards, and mechanisms to enforce ethical conduct within IFIS. In summary, addressing this issue collectively is crucial for the development of a robust Islamic financial ecosystem in Nigeria, promoting ethical behavior, transparency, and adherence to its Sharia principle. The integration Islamic world ethic into the organizational fabric, coupled with research training program and a strong supervisory framework, will contribute to the long-term sustainability and integrity of Islamic finance in the country.